You know, sometimes you decide to make a YouTube video, you have absolutely no idea how you're gonna start it. Yeah, this is one of those times. What's up everybody, Thomas Sorensen here and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about making goals and how important that is to being creative, kind of sticking with the theme of my first two videos. But... Well that's not right. What? Ah, there we go, finally. Okay, now that we're back to normal. Today we're going to be talking about making goals and how important that is to being creative, doing what you love, and pursuing your passions. So today there are several things that I want to talk about, but really I can break it up into three things. So the first thing is to organize your goals. Organizing your goals is very, very important. And so a lot of people will tell you to keep a little journal, to write stuff down, to make notes, whatever you want to do. The th easiest thing that I can find is to make a note on your notes app on your phone if you have an iphone if you have a samsung or any other phone i don't know but i'm sure there's something like notes so anyways i think it's super easy to keep it on your phone because your phone is always with you and so your goals are always with it it just makes sense to me i hope it makes sense to you so i keep a notes on my phone that just has my goals and so i organize them i think this is the easiest way into short-term goals and long-term goals and so why this is super important is because short-term goals are any goals that you can directly affect right now. And so for me, I have goals really through the, like the end of 2021 being my short-term goals because those are things that I can work towards now. Maybe not achieve now, but I can work towards them now. And then long-term goals can kind of be like a bucket list towards like, I want to do this. I want to graduate from college. I want to have a very successful career. I want to do this or that. Those can be more more far out there you can't really do anything about them now but you want to someday and so that's a really good example of long-term goals and so for me an example of short-term goals is i have a little subcategory under my notes app and my short-term goals i have a little thing for youtube and so for my goals for youtube my first goal is that by the end of the summer i have 100 subscribers that's just a really easy goal hopefully i'll hit it i don't really know but Another one of those goals is by the end of the year, I want to have a thousand subscribers. And so I want to grow to be a hundred, then grow to be a thousand by the end of the year. That's my two goals for YouTube. I have other ones for being a photographer and a cinematographer, and I have other goals for school that have kind of been completed already because, you know, school's over. But that being said, and I had other goals of hanging out with certain friends or going on a certain photo shoot, and those goals were kind of looked over a little bit or postponed if you will until after the whole COVID thing dies down but that's a really great example of just my goals and so my encouragement to you is I know so many people during this time who have listened to my previous two videos about being creative and how you can be creative or not and are still being creative and it's so important that when you be creative that you structure it so that you don't just burn out or that when we all have to go back to work or go back to school, you don't just give up on it. And so organizing your goals is your first great stepping stone in doing that. The second thing that you should do is celebrate the success that you have in those goals. And so when you hit one of your goals, like if I hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna celebrate that. I'm not just gonna move on like business as usual. I'm gonna say, I hit one of my goals. I made this months ago. I'm very proud of myself. This is really, really important. It's because when you reward yourself with hitting one of your goals, then you'll be more apt to not only setting more goals, but to achieving those other goals. Because honestly, achieving your goals is hard work. You can't just go out and do it. If everyone could just go out and do it, there wouldn't be goals. There'd just be actions that you could do all the time, and not worry about it at all, ever. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not really sure what just happened right there, but anyways, if, they weren't goals, you could just easily go out and do them. And everyone could just do the same thing and there would be no specialties. No one would ever, nothing would ever be art because nothing would ever be original if it wasn't hard work. Now, the third thing is probably the most important thing and it's don't get discouraged. 
If you don't hit one of your goals, that's okay. That doesn't mean that the goal was canceled. That means that that goal was postponed. And that is very, very important. Because when you just cancel one of your goals, you throw it out, that's when you get discouraged. That's when you say, you know what? I'm giving up on this whole YouTube thing. I'm giving up on this whole art thing. I'm giving up on this whole way of living thing. I'm giving up on this whole living actively thing and eating healthy thing and whatever you're doing. It's so easy to just get discouraged when you're not seeing the results that you want when you want them. You will see those results if you keep with it. It's just a matter of time. So going back to my two goals as a YouTuber, I want 100 subscribers by the end of the summer. That is my goal. But that being said, that may not happen. And if that doesn't happen, I'll be okay with that. Because what I do is I try every single day to either post something about my YouTube channel, to put up a new video, to put up some content, to entice people to come in. And whenever I put a new video up, my entire goal is to get one new subscriber. That's it. Just one new subscriber. Because if I got one subscriber every single day between now and the end of the year, I would hit that goal. I wouldn't hit it on time and I wouldn't hit my 1000 goal by the end of the year, but I would still hit the goal. It might not be exactly when I wanted to hit it, but I would still hit it. And with that, I wouldn't be like, oh, I finally got here. I finally hit my goal. No, I would still celebrate that because we have our timeline for our goals, but that may not always work out. They may happen in different orders than we anticipated or at different times than we anticipated. That doesn't mean that we should give up on them. So yeah, those are my three encouragements for y'all is that you have to organize your goals. You have to organize them or you're just gonna forget them and never do them. You have to celebrate your success, man, because congrats, you completed one of your goals. That's a big deal. And then third, you just can't get discouraged, man. Just in, if you haven't done it or it hasn't been achieved just when you wanted to do it yet, you can't get discouraged by that because I promise you with plenty of hard work and continuing to press on and continuing to do it, it will eventually happen with everything. Ask anyone. That's how goals work. If you constantly stay at them, you'll constantly hit your mark. And so those are the three things I have for you today. This is kind of wrapping up. This is like a part three of three of how to be creative during quarantine. So you're not going to see many more of these videos, but what is going to happen is kind of a mini series, if you will, is going to start of practical ways of being creative. So I know that I already made the video of how you can be creative X, Y, and Z, but I'm going to do like a camera basics, basics tutorial about, hey, if you wanted to pick up a camera and started shooting, here's how you can do that. If you wanted to do something like art, I'm not very artistic, but I took a couple years of art, so I think I know like half of a couple of things, but I'll still try my best and other things along those lines. So just some really short, really fun videos coming to you soon of just some fun things that you can do during quarantine or just during the summer, or if you just have free time, just something fun that you can do. Well, this is really all that I have for today. I hope this encouraged you to go out to make your goals and whatever you have been being creative with, man, start sharing it, okay? Like I have loved taking pictures and I have loved making films. And it took me a really long time to start sharing it on a channel like this. And honestly, I have so much fun making these videos, so much fun editing them, so much fun engaging with all of y'all that I really encourage all of y'all to do something like this, to post it on social media, to share it on different websites, whatever you want to do. So I just encourage you, however you're being creative, to share it. It's been Thomas Sorensen. Thank you so much for coming to this video. Hit that subscribe button, like and comment if you want to, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. What's up everybody? Thomas Sorensen here. Welcome back to yet another video. I'm so glad that you could come to the channel today and enjoy this sweet taste of Diet Dr. Pepper. What am I doing? Oh my goodness.